to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be talking about why competitive play, CGL, Woggle, that type of competitive environment, why it isn't popular with the majority of the combat arms players. There seems to be a very big divide between the casual, in big quotations, the casual community who just play the game for fun, and then the competitive community who play it more strategically in teams and so on and so on. Now, there's a lot of elements to this, and that's what I want to go and break down in this commentary. The first one is the element of trolls. There's a very big stigma around that the competitive community just do, just dislikes any casual people. Let's say if a casual member joined one of their public rooms and they had the wrong gear on, there's a massive stigma around that that person would be automatically abused and kicked and just banned from any of their other rooms just because they just didn't know the rules and I could say from the rooms I've joined and I've joined a lot of CGL games the pub rooms and I have to say that is definitely not the case they are really really nice guys now if we go back to the woggle days then yes I could go and say that this definitely did happen there was a lot of abuse to these casual players purely because they were not competitive however the CGL community have kind of just got this automatic stigma put on their shoulders and just Everybody assumes that they are exactly like Woggle when there is a very big difference. However, this is just, just one element and there's much more important things I have to go and talk about than simply trolls. Now, one thing I would like to talk about is the restrictions that CGL has in place for their competitive game mode, for their search and destroy and capture the flag game mode. They have very, very, very strict restrictions on what you can go and use via weapons and what you can wear through gear. And I have to say, I find that is a really, really good thing. The fact that restricting people to use certain stuff makes it less around what gun they're using, more around what skill level they're at, how skillful a person is rather than what they are using. However, when you have a look at Combat Arms, Combat Arms is a very NX orientated game and such these restrictions, restrictions are needed, however it doesn't go and coexist in terms of the actual com Combat Arms community of where the majority of people do use NX. It's a very weird, a weird thing for people to have been using Authors, Maxes, RX-70 shotguns and they, or even just normal NX guns like the CQB which is com considered obsolete nowadays. For that to be just banned out in a CGL room, people don't believe that is fair. However, it's just because of the environment they've been playing in for so long has kind of shaped the very, their idea of what they should be using, when it's just a different way and it makes the game fit. Now, when you look at League of Legends and its competitors scene, it is extremely, extremely, extremely strong. Now, the reason behind this is that the competitive scene is identical in terms of gameplay to that of the normal rooms, the normal ranked games. They are exactly the same. There is no difference. The only difference being the obvious skill difference and the tactics. Now, CGL are not working with a their environment. There is pay to win weapons everywhere. So they have to go and ban that out. And that is different to what the general community is going and playing as. So of course there's going to be conflict. Of course there's going to be differences because the vast majority of people, uh, when they go into a CGL room, they have to use different weapons. When you look at League of Legends, if they ever went competitive, they're just going to use the same stuff they've been using. And obviously, there's a massive difference between the two. This is why League of Legends is massively popular in terms of, comp in terms of its competitive scene. And this is why Combat Arms basically has no popularity or very minuscule popularity in terms of its competitive scene. I'm just trying to go and spell it out for you guys. And just trying to break the stigma of that, you know, CGL is bad. It's just because the game limits it in such a way that you cannot go and actively play it unless you are accustomed to the rules. And that is a bit disappointing in my opinion. It's not due to CGL, it's just due to combat arms. Bye for now, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.